So to start out Steam, um, it helps if you know the opener for Maverick. You're going to break into an e-grip, I believe that's what it's called. And you're just going to do the Maverick opener, which is swinging this middle packet out and to the right side. And so with that, e-grip, swing this to the right side. And with that, you're going to let this four of spades packet drop into the hand like a scissor cut position. Then what you're going to do, um, you're going to break off a small packet with the right hand, sort of like a swing cut. And you're also going to break off a small packet right here off of the four of spades packet from earlier. And so what happens from that, you're going to end up in a position like this. So that packet right there is split from the packet from earlier is split. Now what happens is when you split off that uh, packet, the scissor cut packet, you're going to do a reverse scissor cut. And you're also the 4E, I don't know if you can see that, this top packet right here, you're going to slide your index finger down to the right. Not, you're not going to slide it to the corner, you're just going to slide it more to the right to help you in the end. Then um, what you're going to do, this middle packet right here, you're going to take your left ring finger, you're going to push that packet, sort of push it towards yourself so that your thumb can contact it like that. And then with this packet right here, underneath the top packet, you're going to kind of Hold it in a sort of like in a civil cut, a civil cut position, like you're straddling it, like that. So it's being held uh, in this straddle position, like that. So let's start from the top. So you're gonna open up into a E grip. You're gonna swing that metal packet out. You're gonna let this eight of spades packet fall into your hand, in like a scissor cut position. You're gonna split open this top packet and you're also going to split right here then at the same time what you do you slide your index finger to the right and you do a reverse scissor cut and then at the same time what you're going to do your left ring finger is going to contact the I'll show you right here it's going to contact this bottom edge right here and it's also going to push it towards yourself so that your thumb can contact the long edge so if we go from the top, sort of like this, here, and there. That was kind of sloppy, but that's pretty much a, pretty much the whole movement right there. So E grip, that swings to the side, break those packets off, now slide your index finger and do a reverse scissor at the same time. You're gonna grab this in the straddle cut position, push this so your thumb contacts it. And so now, two things are going to happen at the same time. You're going to, the straddled packet in your right hand, sort of like the civil position, is going to go on top of this packet right here. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to go on top of that packet right there. So it was below it, and it's going to go on top of it. So as that happens, you're also going to do a scissor cut with these two packets over here. So at the same time, both of those actions happen and then you drop that packet and then after you do that two things are going to happen again you're going to reverse that action that you just did with that packet in your uh in your right hand so it's going to be on the bottom again and then also you still have this one packet between your two thumbs that is going to rotate into sort of a sort of almost like a trigger position this would be a position for trigger i guess and so you're going to rotate that in your hand and then you also had uh you also move that packet to the bottom then what's going to happen that seven of club packet is going to contact your index finger right here your left index finger is going to contact that it's going to contact that and then they're going to use you're going to use your uh your right middle finger to help rotate that packet and align it with the other packet right there and then this single packet that's in your left hand, your pinky is going to meet where your thumb is, replace it. And then what's going to happen 
is going to kind of, uh, so what happens is sort of like this. So your pinky doesn't necessarily have to meet there. I just feel that it helps, it helps me. It's just like a little thing that I do. It helps me like reassure myself. So you really don't have to do that. You can just go into that position, but I always find myself just putting my pinky there anyways. And then at the same time, you're going to do a, not really a scissor cut, I'm not really sure what that cut's called. You can do trigger if you want, if that, uh, if that suits you. But then you're just going to do, if you uh, know uh, Noel's move, you're just going to have this packet like this, and then you're going to fold this packet over on top, and that is Steed. So go one more time from the top. E grip. I'm going to split those two packets. Slide your index finger, reverse scissor. Straddle with the right hand. Slide with your ring finger to contact with the thumb. Scissor cut, put that packet on top, rotate that packet down. I'm going to rotate that around. This comes here and then back on top. And that is my move, Steed. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have uh, any questions about Steed, uh, just let me know. It is a, a little weird at first. I even find myself trying to find uh, different variations of it anyway, sometimes. But um, yeah, if you guys do perform Steve, tag me on your Instagram videos or whatever, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.